Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of White Hall, located in Wayne County, North Carolina, on December 16, 1862. After a mostly victorious taking at Kinston, Union General Foster's force moved on from there on December 15th. They returned back across the Noose River and marched towards Goldsboro, the same place the Confederate General Evans had retreated. Foster had sent some of his cavalry ahead of the main force as a scouting unit. As they approached Whitehall, about 20 miles from Goldsboro, they found that the Confederates were there and they had burned down the bridge that the Union wanted to cross. The Union troops took Whitehall the next day and engaged with the Confederates on the other side. This included Union cavalry rolling hundreds of barrels of pitch into the riverbank, hoping to burn the Confederates' position by them floating across the river. When that wasn't successful, they fired their artillery at Confederate Brigadier General Beverly H. Robertson's brigade on the north bank of the river. In addition, they turned the artillery onto a Confederate ironclad that was being built locally called the CSS Noose. The lack of success frustrated the Union soldiers as they burned a village and returned back to Foster's main camp. Foster's forces returned the next day and engaged in a feint, hoping to convince the Confederates they're desperate to cross the broken bridge, as the majority of Union forces shifted and slipped past Whitehall to go towards a different railroad trestle. Total estimated casualties for the Union was 150 killed, wounded, and missing, and there were no recorded losses for the Confederates. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.